I want to share with you today about what is a blessing. Many times we talk about being blessed. We talk about, oh, the blessing of the Lord is upon me. We even say, I'm still blessed. What does it mean? What is a blessing? Well, I want you to know that as I preach this message today, it is prophetic. And you're going to receive rare opportunities. I speak it and I won't take it back. Before I take it back, I will add to it. I have heard from the Lord. And oh, I tell you, it was something just to get this message to you. But oh, I just kept on moving toward him, moving toward him. And I thank God for a staff that moves with me. And I know this is for this hour. I know this is for you. I know it is for this time. Oh, oh, oh glory. God has rare opportunities. Mm -hmm. that you are going to experience in this hour. He has it for this generation. And I'm telling you right now, that's what a blessing is. Let's move on further into it. Uh, a blessing means to be empowered to succeed. It's the root mm -hmm, uh, or the spring from which good things come. I like that. The root or the spring from which good things come. Oh, 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 oh. You know, we know the enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. When you see that at the root of any situation, you need to identify the enemy right away. Woo! Tell him he got to flee. Take all his poverty, his lack, his misery, sickness, and disease. Oh, oh glory to God. Oh, God is getting ready to bless you. Oh, I speak it and I won't take it back. What is a blessing? A blessing is God's ability that he rubs upon our life. You know, that's what an anointing is, right? It rubs on you. Uh, he rubs upon you to give you his ability. I'm telling you, I have seen those that did not qualify for jobs. But when God got through, God would put people under them that qualified, that could do that, that they did not do. Why? Because do you know what people are looking for, to, for today? They are looking for character. They'll take character and loyal over ability any day. I'm telling you right now, the character and the loyalty that you, you know, put place into advancing the kingdom of God, it will transfer over to you. That's what the Lord does. That's a blessing, isn't it? So it is God's ability rubbed off up on you to give you his ability. Mm. I like to think of it also like this. It's God's super up on your natural and bringing the what? Supernatural into your life. Oh, you better come on with me this morning because I'm already gone. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. A blessing is a favor from God. It, it, when you have been favored and singled out, hear me well on today. When you've been favored and singled out for a blessing, when blessings come, oh, everything the enemy thought he would do, he's got to go. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And if anyone, any enemy that thought that he would succeed against you shall fail. <laughs> Ooh, a it, that's a blessing. I know that it is so. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what the enemy try to do. Throw it out. I decree and declare this morning, you are blessed. Let's look at the word of God. Let's see what the word of God says. I know I love you and I receive your love for me. But hey, this thing got to go deeper than that. We got to get the word of God. What does God have to say about this? You can want great things for yourself, for your family, for those around you. But let me tell you, you are not the blesser. God is the blesser. He is the creator. Oh, so we have to stand up on his word. Let's see what the word says about this. And let's get ourselves in line, alignment with his word. We get an alignment. Oh, it brings order. And when that order comes, alignment and blessings can flow. Oh, in unprecedented ways. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's go right back to Ephesians 1 and 3. All right. I want to read that to you this morning. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms, oh, glory to God, with every spiritual blessing in Christ. I liked another translation. The CSB translation says, blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavens in Christ. Kingdom come, who thy will be done in the earth as 
as it is. Where? In heaven. <laughs> oh, I love the Lord today. Hallelujah. All right. Do you know you can be confident in God's blessing because you're a child of God, the most high God. Hallelujah. Everything that God has promised you, that he will give you. Everything that God has said, he shall do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and namely, eternity in the heaven. Ah, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But until that time, because you're not going until God says time. Oh, glory to God. And if you turn your face to the wall, oh, who knows what he will do. Per adventure. Oh, let me get on back here. Ah, let me tell you. So what am I saying? Heavenly blessings can be right down here on this earth. As you're waiting, as you're anticipating the eternity, living, oh, to live for him. As you begin to live for God. Oh, what a blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, mm. purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Let me tell you, people of God, I want you to know today, oh, glory to God, that God has blessings, great and mighty blessings, because it's his favor that is upon you. Oh, glory to God, because his anointing, he's rubbed his ability upon you, you. I'm saying it today and I won't take it back. Hallelujah. So we see in Ephesians, how Ephesians 1 and 3, we can stand on it. It says it right there. Glory to God. And it, it describes how the blessings that, that have been already given, glory to God, unto you as you receive the salvation through Christ Jesus. Already there. Oh, God is so good. Glory to God. As we receive the blessings that God has for us, great and mighty is our God. Oh, glory to God. And great things he is, is doing. Mm -hmm. All right. And so when we do that, you heard me say that when you begin to walk in the nature of Christ Jesus, you heard me say the heavenly blessings right down here on this earth. Why? Because you begin to get in alignment with his word and it brings order into your life. No more fragmented by what the flesh want to do and what the spirit is saying to do and then what your body ends up doing. Uh-uh. You bring unity to your body, your mind, and your spirit. And you line up. When you get in alignment with that word of God, that's why I said through Christ, the blessings come and God will do what he says he's going to do. You just believe it as you receive salvation through Christ. Then you begin to exchange those things that you know. Oh, this is not good. I, I, I want to line up with this word. You have to come up to the word of God, right? Uh, lift you. Uh, and as you come up to it, you will begin to see what God is doing as he begins to make exchanges with you. And he takes your imperfections. He takes your flaws. He takes your stinking thinking. He takes your poverty. Oh, he takes your sadness. He takes your misery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He takes all of that. And as you begin to see that happen, oh, you talking about, oh, don't you feel better? Don't you feel better when you let go of all of that that you were holding on to? When, yeah, you admit it. Yeah, you accept the fact that I messed up. But you know what? You dismiss it and move on because you give it to the Lord. God takes it. You made an exchange <laughs> through Christ Jesus. When you do that unprecedented blessing, you get yourself in alignment. You get yourself in order. Unprecedented blessings will begin to flow. So that's the next thing I want to talk about right now. The nature of unprecedented blessings. Oh, I'm on my way somewhere, but I got to lay this foundation here this morning. I've got to lay the groundwork here this morning. It's too many folks don't understand the groundwork. And many people just think, oh my goodness, it didn't happen to me, but it happened to them. Oh, God has these blessings for everyone. He's got them for you. God is so good. And unprecedented blessings. Blessings that are rare. Blessings that are extraordinary. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Blessings that are unique just for you. Oh, singled out blessings. <laughs> oh, yes, because this is a year. We've come out of great trials and tribulations last year. This is a year. Yes, I said we're coming out of it because we're moving forward. This is a year that you're going to see unique things Uh huh. that God will do for you. I told you this is a prophetic word on today. Glory to God. God's going to give you unusual breakthroughs. Oh, hallelujah. Believe God. 
Believe him. Believe him for the abnormal. Believe God for the unfamiliar. Believe God for the rare. Believe God for the unprecedented blessings. Oh, uh, let's look in the Bible. First Chronicles 4, verses 10 and 11. Hallelujah. So see, how do I do this? You know, I'm a preacher that'll show you the how-tos. I've been called to teach, train, educate, and equip. How do I do how do I know this? How do I move into this? Oh, glory to God. You know how? Because the, the Bible describes the Lord as the, the Lord of the breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. The Lord who bursts through. First Chronicles chapter 14, verses 10 and 11. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. The, no, well, no, I'm going to go to the NIV. I got the new living here, but I'm going to go to the NIV. I, I like that one better. So David inquired of God, shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? The Lord answered him, go. I will deliver them into your hand. You know what? When you're getting ready to move into, un, uh, I, I like to call it uncharted territory, because that's somewhere you've never gone before. That's what God is doing. There's no one for you to talk about how to get there. You know why? You're going to have to begin to get your answer from the Lord in order to move in this unique, rare, unprecedented blessing that's coming your way that God is manifesting. I'm telling you, it's happening all around me. God is blessing. God is increasing. I'm telling you, oh, checks in the mail. Oh, increase. Oh, yes, that God is doing. Hallelujah. That God is creating blessings, creating opportunities. Oh, bringing such rare and unique opportunities with your name on it. Oh, all because God took his ability and rubbed it up on your ability. Oh, and brought forth unprecedented blessings into your life. It's all around me. I'm seeing it. I'm telling you, relocation is being totally financed. I'm seeing it. God moving people from one position to another position. Oh, nobody but God. I'm seeing it. God taking and taking them from the bottom and putting them on the top. Oh, yes, that God giving favor that I'm going to, I'm going to individually, I'm going to make sure that you are mentor. Oh, don't tell me what God can do. A rare, unique blessing. Oh, that God is giving and bringing right to you. Oh, in this hour, different ones get different blessings. Don't compare yourself to anyone else and say, well, I didn't get that. No, 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 no. God has the blessing for you. Your unique blessing for you in this hour. Oh, glory to God. And as you receive it from him, it is the beginning of God taking you from glory to glory. It is your new level. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You get ready for the new in your life. Glory to God that God is doing. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. I'm not finished reading this. I know. Let's get back to it. Hmm. The Lord answered, go, I will deliver them into your hand. Go, step on into your new. Go, go on into the new territory. Go, go on and believe God. Go, go on and let my anointing rub off on you. Step into, see, some of you all got to step into a new anointing and a fresh anointing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You got to let go of some things that it, that you weren't in totally obedience on. Let those things go and come on. Let's go into what God's got for you and receive the rare and the unique. Didn't, I, didn't you hear me say those are the things that God's got for you <sighs> in heavenly places? Did you hear me tell you? that glory to God Ephesians 1 and 3 those are heavenly blessings those are things that we have to let go of the old and receive the new the old way of doing things God's got a new way of doing it <laughs> oh, oh glory to God whatever level you are on uh, what used to be not anymore I want to go back to the way things used to be forget it we are in a new normal now so you might as well begin, oh, to begin to receive a word from God and move forward. And God will give you the winning edge. Mm. Every time. So as you move into it, go. I will deliver them into your hand. Go on and step up into this new anointing that God has given unto you. Go on and move into this unique blessing that God has prepared for you. 11 verse. So David and his men went up to Baal Perazim. Look at that. And there he defeated them. And he said, as waters break out, God has broken out against my enemies oh, by my hand. So that place 
was called Bel Perazim. Let me tell you, that burst in four. That's what, let me tell you, do you know you can go in prayer? And you can start praying and you can get so zoned in. I'm going to put it just like that. Get into that place of alignment with God as you begin to pray. Simple prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed would be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let me tell you, you can pray that prayer and there'll be a bursting forth. Uh, out of your belly shall flow. Rivers of living water. God will begin to give you creative ideas. Oh, yes, he will. God will give invention. Do you know there are discoveries that have not been made? There are ideas that have not been produced. Oh, God is ready to give it to you. God is ready to give you a leading edge. Do you know God is ready to take you to a place in the spirit with him right down here on this earth that you've never gone before? Do you know God is ready to free you from those things that hold you bound, that's keeping you from stepping into the greater that God has for you? Do you know that that anointing of God would rub off on you and places and things and situations of persons that you were unable to say no to? God will give you ha, ha, the confidence on the inside knowing mm -mm, that he's working it all together for the good, that God will strengthen you and enable you and empower you all because of his anointing. It will not be you, but it will be him. Oh, glory to God. It's time right now. David, oh, glory. To, he said, God has given this into my hand. God will give you the victory over everything that's trying to bring you down. And this was when he was going against the Philistines. Oh, glory to God. And as he taught here, mm, David asked the Lord, shall I go and attack the Philistine? Will you deliver them into my hand? Oh, there'll be things. God, and you begin to pray and ask God. God will give you instructions. God will tell you just what to do. Oh, the, regardless whether we want to do it or not. But I tell you, he'll make it worth your while. Oh, yes, he will. And God said, go, uh -huh, do it. And I deliver oh, the enemy into your hands. Do it. And I'll give you the victory. Do it. And I'll bring you out on top. Do it. And I'll make ways out of no way. <laughs> and David went. He defeated them. And he said, oh, look at God. Oh, look what God did. Boy, it was like a bursting bull. You know how we can explain what God does. It's like a bursting bull. Ah, glory to God. And it reminds me in John, when John said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters, a bursting forth. Oh, that God will begin to give you insight and the abilities that can only come from him that he's going to do in your future. God is a good God. Then misery has to go. A lot of people are upset. A lot of people, you know, they see you get blessed and they can't be happy for you. You know why? They're not in that place of prayer. That's a place of prayer. It's not always that you see in gold. It's not always that you see the house on the hill. It's that you will begin to see, come on, that peace, that shalom that God gives us. And when we get that peace, everything else begins to come in place. Oh, yes, yeah, strife has to go. But not only strife, misery has to go. But not only misery, sickness has to go. Not only sickness, disease has to go. Not only disease, poverty has to go. I'm telling you, God will turn your night into day. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. And when God blesses you, he adds no sorrow to it. Oh, yes, Lord. That's the next thing I want to say today. The blessings of the Lord adds no sorrow with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Proverbs 10 and 22. God gave this verse to me in 1985, and I memorize it. There are things that God will bring you through and burst through in your life. You need to memorize it. Glory to God. It was one of those rare and those special times in my life that I got a breaking through from God, a bursting forth from the Lord. I'm telling you, when God's getting ready to burst forth, I want you to know the enemy will attack you. He will try to keep you from moving into the zone mm -hmm, of where you begin to, out of your belly, let it flow. In other words, line up. Line up with God. Line up with his word. Get your life in order. Get your finances in order. Oh, yeah, do the best you can with what you have. We're not perfect. We're not flawless. But you do the best you can with what you have. As you begin to do that, and that means what? Tithing. That means what? Giving of your time, your talents, and your treasures. That means what? Uh-huh. Assembling yourself together. Oh, I know some of you have gotten laxed. 
because of COVID. But virtually, we have been here every Wednesday and Sunday. We have not missed the service. And you know what? If you want to go to church, you sure can come to church here because we are having church right here. Kano's is having church. We may not have been able to get into the physical building, but we virtually have come. And some of you have been sleeping. Some of you have been attentive. Some haven't been attentive. Some of you have slacked off a drifting away. Remember that message? Drifting away. Oh, some of you have allowed the cares of the world to take you over. But oh, oh, glory to God. You better shake yourself. You better get yourself in line with what God let some of his ability run up on you. Uh-huh. Your ability. God's doing some great things in this hour. God is ready to bless you from the inside out. Oh, glory to God in an unprecedented way. Ah, oh, let me tell you, when that happens, great mighty things begin to take place. He said in Proverbs 10 and 22, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. I want to just read it. I can memorize it. I can say it and quote it because God gave me that in 1985. And let me tell you something. It is just the analogy I can give would be the, the analogy would be like an onion. Okay. And every time you peel an onion, it's more to peel. It's more to peel. That's the way God's word is. When you begin to memorize it and you begin to apply it in your life and you see the great victory, the unprecedented victory that comes out of what God does, as you begin to see that God, oh, he blesses us and it's not always the way you think that it's coming. You may have a preconceived notion, but it can be all wrong. God's going to bless you and it's going to be, it's going to blow your mind. Uh, and it's going to also, you know what? When God blesses us, it marvels those that are around us as they see what God has done. It's a testimony to the glory of God as they stand in awe of the greatness of God in your life. That's what God wants to do. And that's what God did. That's why I tell you right now, he's going to take you from glory to glory. That happened for me in 1985. That was the breaking through that I got. And from that day to this day, oh, I've gone from glory to glory to glory to glory. And I tell you, Proverbs 10 and 22 has opened up each time. It's just like a window on the computer that doop, 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 opens up, doop, 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 opens up. Oh, my God. Every time, every time. These are steps that you can use in your life. Every time that you want to go higher, you're receiving oh, a breakthrough from God. You receive that breakthrough. Step on in. Step on in and receive what God has for you. And so we say, what? Oh, his blessings make it rich, and it adds, adds no sorrow to it. I love this. Glory to God. And Because when God blesses you, he gives you a complete package. There is no sorrow. Nope. Mm -mm. God will give you the capacity to enjoy his blessing. Ah! Yes, he will. Hallelujah. You have good success. Oh, wherever you go. I've got those that are relocating in this hour and where, what, the Lord gives the whole package, taking care of the whole thing. Go over there. God, I mean in every wise, in every way. New job, new place of living, new location, new everything. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brand new money. Hallelujah. Increase, increase, increase. I got another one. Oh, my goodness. New location, new job. Oh, my God. God bless it. God bless it. God bless it. And what else? Hold on. Increase, increase, increase. <laughs> I got another one. Glory to God. That God is giving a whole new station in life. Whole new station of moving forward. Whole new job. Hallelujah. Ha. Whole new environment. Everything. Oh, glory to God. Same, same place. Live in the same place. But oh, God did something rare. Oh, God did something. My God. Uniquely just for them. And you know what? Let me add on. Increase, increase, increase. God gives a complete package. And he'll give you the capacity to do it. You don't have to fear. You don't have to be shaky in any wise concerning what you may not know. Let me tell you, one of those, one of those uh, were given a package and it was told, I want to mentor you. Oh, that means I'm going to get you ready for going to the next level. Well, I just got here. And here, oh, do you begin to see your future? Then I got another one that began to say, okay, uh-huh, we're going to put you here. We're going to put you here. We're going to connect you up and do, I mean, before you, we want you to do this and we want you to do that. And 
know that is showing them how they want to take them higher. Oh, they see the potential. They see it in them. What is it? They see character. What is it? They see loyalty. Oh, yes. You, you can see those things. You can tell by what a person say and how they say it. How do you do that, Pastor? Because of the passion for which you say it in. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! I praise God on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's blessings make it rich and add no sorrow. To it. You need to believe that word. You need to embrace that word. You should even memorize that word. Glory to God. And even if you need to, you need to release a sacrifice. Oh, oh, glory to God. If you do, it will unleash your blessing and it will unlock and secure all that God has prepared for you in the next 12 months. God has given me a word about the next 12 months. God's getting ready to do some great and mighty things that you know not that are uniquely designed just for you. Hallelujah. You know, Isaac was an old man and he called his son Esau to him and he told him, he said, you go and prepare me a good meal. Glory to God. He said, because I'm going to bless you. See, there'll be times that God wants you to prepare him an offer. Don't give him no, don't throw nothing at him. Don't give him no token. Give him a prepared seed. Woo! Glory to God. Give God a prepared seed. You get ready for the blessing. Hallelujah. Get, get ready for what God's going to do. God is a good God. And you know what? His mom, Rebecca, her favorite son was Jacob. It's sad when parents have favorites. Yeah. And, but I, the Bible is so real. It shows us how we can have flaws and imperfections. There was a flaw there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Jacob's mother knew the power of the blessing. She knew that when Isaac covered oh, uh, uh, Esau, my God, he was going to be blessed for life and it could not be reversed. So she quickly told Jacob. She told him, she said, you know what? You go in there and you prepare and you go in. And you get the blessing before Esau. Let me tell you, you can prepare uh, an offering, a seed that you want to give. You can get, you, you can move quickly to prepare that blessing. And I tell you, God will take you from the bottom and put you on top. You can move quickly and, and release a, a seed unto God. Oh, my, 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 my. Hey, glory to God. Oh, and that that's been held back will be released. Hallelujah. Even the enemy may be trying to keep you from receiving it. But let me tell you, if God be for you, there is no enemy that can successfully stand against you. God is a good God. Hallelujah. So she told Jacob, she said, you go and you prepare something right away. So you need to prepare something right away and release it. Oh, God is a good God. He, she said, you get that blessing. You get that blessing. You get that blessing. <laughs> You know what? God's blessing will lift you out of obscurity onto center stage. His blessing will do it every time. Hallelujah. Do you know this year you can release blessings and it will cause you to succeed even where you fail. You better hear me on that. Ah, I know what I'm talking about there. I thank God I am a giver. And I say that I don't say that in any type of uh, uh uh, bragging way. No, not at all. And I'm saying that to make a statement unto you and you. But I am a giver. I thank God for being a giver. I'm telling you right now, God will stretch you huh, and to give even more. When you will release what God say, I'm telling you, there are, there are shackles there that, that are broken. When you will prepare God a seed and release that seed unto him. Yeah, it's scripture here. You'll get blessed. You'll get blessed above and beyond measure. Hallelujah. And it will add no sorrow with it. You just release, receive that blessing. Uh, and so God's blessing will lift you out of obscurity onto center stage. Hallelujah. And this year, you will succeed even where you have failed. You learn how to give. I had one of my members said, Pastor, you told me once. I could give my way out. What did that mean? And I responded. I told him, I said, this is what it means. It means that you're going to have to take risk of faith. That's how you're going to have to move in God and your time, your talents, and your treasure. You're going to have to give and make sure that you're releasing your tithe and your offering and even sacrificially giving if God should say so, so spontaneously sowing a seed if God should say so, strategically releasing a seed if God should say so. And I tell you, and some things, just like I said in the lesson earlier, it's some things you just got to, you know, you just, hey, I'm just going to do 
this because the word says to give. I'm just going to do this. And as you begin, and I told her, I said, now, as you begin to do that, you're going to begin to see God move and the blessings come upon you. Let me tell you. I don't care what's hitting you. I don't care how the enemy is coming against you. You can strategically sow a seed. You can start systematically releasing your offerings and your time. You can begin to give spontaneously, meaning that, oh, I just feel the option to release it. You can give strategically that that you, you don't want to put the seed on it, and you can give sacrificially. You didn't intend to do it, but you feel it on the inside. See, that's that, that's that water bursting forth to give you your birth, breakthrough. That's that water in your spirit just breaking out, and you can't get away from it. Oh, glory to God. As you begin to give, release it, release it, release it. And I'm telling you right now, as you do it, you'll see things begin to break through for you. And so this is what Rebecca was moving in that and trying to get Jacob. You move, move quickly. Prepare that meal. Glory to God. Because you're going to succeed where you, you have failed. Oh, you're getting ready to get a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Things are getting ready to take place and happen in your life. God has been getting ready to bring you out of obscurity onto the center stage. God's getting ready to do great and mighty things in your life as you begin to believe God. God's turning situations around. Glory to God. So according to Ephesians 1 and 3, I confess and I release a blessing upon you as I say right now that this is the year of unprecedented blessings. The Lord will favor you and all around blessings which you cannot, cannot see right now. You're going to see them because you will not be overlooked. Oh, I declare it right now upon you. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give him some glory. I declare right now that every evil announcement, every witch, every warlock, oh, glory to God, every evil pronouncement, every militating uh, uh, force against your life, Everything that the enemy is trying to do is canceled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. I break every generation curse that is militating against your understanding. There are some things that happen in your life you don't even understand. There's some things happening in your life and you wonder why this thing is coming from generations ago. But I'm telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, and I plead the blood and I break every militating curse of the enemy against you right now in the name of Jesus. I come against every limitation which the enemy is trying to put on your life right now in Jesus' name. I boldly declare that the blessings of the Lord, a favor and financial blessing be yours in the name of Jesus. Oh, hear me well today. I declare that all the hidden blessings oh, are exposed by the Lord in the name of Jesus, that they come out of the shadows oh, and step on out into your life. Oh, that the world, all of those around you will be in all of the great things that God is doing in your life. I declare that the manifestations of the blessings of God who shall erase the day of sorrow in your life in the name of Jesus oh you are blessed you are highly favored oh glory to God and I believe God <laughs> oh glory to God I believe that his plan is to prosper you and not to harm you who in the name of Jesus oh you better hear me today I declare that God's plan is to elevate you and to not demote you because the word of God says I have not seen ear have not heard neither has it entered into your heart you haven't even comprehended the things that, that God has prepared for you. I declare God's favor mm, is to collect all the good things that belong to you in time. Oh, yes, in time. See, some of you say, oh, uh -uh. in time. And God said, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. You are the God that will make things happen. You show up, and, oh, you show everybody 
what you can do. Hallelujah. Isaiah 16, 22. Glory to God. You see God moving and Psalm 77 and 14. Well, let's move on here. I told you I'm here today to speak blessings. I'm here today to declare upon your life. All you got to do is to receive them. Glory to God because God is elevating you. He's not going to demote you. He's elevating you in the name of the Lord. God has it prepared for you. It's got your name on it. Your neat blessing just for you. Hallelujah. All the good things just for you. I declare that the next 12 months, hear me well, will be a year of uncommon blessing. <laughs> Who glory to God. Hallelujah. I declare that it will be a year of uncommon favor. And I boldly declare uncommon breakthroughs huh, that many will see what God is doing in your life. And they're going to marvel at the next 12 months. I decree and declare it. Woo! Because this year is going to be your lifting. <laughs> oh, you are blessed and highly favored. Woo! Glory to God. I declare that the Lord will bless you the next 12 months. Oh, my God, my God. I declare that you're blessed in your home in your studies, in your ministry, in your business, and in work. I declare that you have been empowered to succeed and that failure is not your portion. I decree and declare that now in Jesus' name. I declare that the favor of God will be a divine elevator that will take you, you better hear me, to the top. Oh, 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 oh. You will succeed where others fail. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You shall gather speed. Oh, oh, acceleration. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. The next 12 months shall be a year of restoration. Hear me well. I decree and I declare it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And I decree and I declare whatever the canker worm has eaten, it must be restored. Whatever has been swallowed up, the devil got to spit it out according to your word in Jeremiah 51. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I declare restoration in your life in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I declare that the blessing of the Lord will make you prosper. Mm, glory to God. And you will have no sorrow in your life. In the name of Jesus. The next 12 months your life. Oh, and your life to come. Oh, even after that. I'm decreeing and declaring. Oh, the next 12 months is going to be sorrow free. Oh, if you step on in. Step on in. Oh, I'm not saying the devil won't try. What I'm saying is, won't no any enemy be able to prevail over you because God. It's for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I declare that Kano's International Church will enjoy unprecedented blessings financially and numerically in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, I'm going to declare for the ministry God has given unto me. I sure am. Glory to God. I declare that our building vision will be completed. In the next 12 months. Oh, yes. You better think big. You better think big. Uh-huh. You better not deal with it now. You better. Ooh. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. I declare that Kano's will, re will reflect the glory of God. Mm. And the next 12 months shall be a year of unprecedented blessings. I'm declaring it right now. Go forth and succeed and embrace your tomorrow on today. Go forth. Oh, glory to God. And embrace and succeed you in your uncommon favor. Huh? Go forth. Embrace uncommon blessings in the name of Jesus. I declare that the next 12 months, you are blessed and highly favored. And in conclusion, I bless every one of you today. And I seal every confession, every declaration that I have spoken to you on today with the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 So be it. And it is so. And so it is. Oh, come on. Give God glory. <laughs> Woo! Come on. Give him glory.
Lord, I have blessed you and it cannot be reversed. Step on in. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Well, it's time to sow that seed.